different. Hopefully you can hear me. I didn't really think about sound because there's a river to our, my right, your left. Um, and we also have someone filming. Her name is Maria. <laughs> She's fantastic. You're probably going to hear her laugh at some point. Um, but today we're going to review Red Leaves by Paulina Simmons and build a snowman. Now I straight up cheated and found this little nub that someone left here. So we're going to use it because I don't think I've ever built a snowman under time constraints and in front of a, a, a live audience. So um, we're just going to get to it. The book that we're reviewing, I think I said, is called Red Leaves by Paulina Simmons. It came out in 1996. Um, and I believe it was Paulina's second book. Um, Paulina actually has a really interesting story because she was born in Lenagrand, which for those of you who don't know, um, is actually present day St. Petersburg. Uh, in 1992, I don't know exactly the historical context, but um, the city changed its name. And so if you know the history of that, please feel free to share it with me. I love to learn new stuff. Uh, but the book Red Leaves is, like I said, from 1996, and it takes place on Dartmouth College, which is up in New Hampshire. It's an Ivy League school. I'm sure people have heard of it. Uh, but if you haven't, it's a beautiful campus. Actually, I read this book in high school, and it, it made me want to go and see Dartmouth and see if I wanted to go to Dartmouth College. Now, I don't know if I would have ever gotten in, but I absolutely loved, loved the college, the campus. They have trimesters. Fantastic. Um, but the book itself, I don't really know where I'm getting the rest of the snow for this, but we'll figure it out. Um, the book itself is mysterious and suspenseful. It covers uh, the life of Christina Kim, who one of the reasons we're building a snowman today, other than it's kind of the end of the season for snowman building, um, or at least the end of the weather for it, is because she, in the first chapter, does one thing that's been on my bucket list forever, and it involves the snow, and it's also the catalyst for the mysterious and um, suspenseful story that Paulina ends up telling. So if you're into murder or mystery or suspense, I highly recommend you read it. Uh, this snowman, when he's done, will be, <laughs> will be named Spencer because one of the characters in the book, his name is Spencer Patrick O'Malley. And he was my first cop crush. Um, he was the first detective, fictional or otherwise actually, that I just lost it over. I thought he was amazing and dedicated and funny and a really kind of creepy but interesting character. And um, I just really connected both with Christina and Spencer who ended up playing a large role in her, in the story of what happens to her. Um, I also will say that this book, more so than Paulina's other book, had a lot of characters that I connected to and related to. Um, they were interesting, they were funny, they were very dark and twisted, and I think it brought new light to, you know, Ivy League kids just being entitled and one-dimensional. Granted, their other dimension wasn't good, but um, at least they had more than one side. So, I would totally recommend it. I think it's a great book. Paulina Simmons' other book named Tully was, um, ooh, he's losing his buttons, <laughs> um, was not nearly as captivating, or at least it didn't speak to me the same way. I think that perhaps if I was a young mother or wanted to be a mother, the book might have been able to relate, or I would have been able to relate more to the book, but it's named Tully. Uh, if you watched my last video, or maybe it was a couple of videos ago, Books Loved and Lost, I cannot remember the storyline, but I can tell you that while I don't recommend it, I wouldn't badmouth it either. I just think that Tully speaks to a different audience. Um, but credit to Paulina Simmons, she definitely took the time to develop a character or scenes and scenarios. Um, well, this is handy. That, um, that definitely stuck with me. I remember vividly like 
a couple of sex scenes, some very awkward and uncomfortable nursing scenes. But again, I don't particularly want children um, unless they are my beautiful dogs or more dogs, bring me all the dogs. Um, so I will say that, you know, her other book definitely is for a different audience. Um, but let's get Spencer snazzed up a little bit. All right, Spencer and I are in our matching outfits. We got our Patriots hats that we are not Patriots fans. We don't support murderers and or cheaters. And <laughs> the Patriots unfortunately tend to have problems with that. Um, however, we do still have some Patriot swag. Uh, we're wearing our color coordinated outfits. He does have my sunglasses, so it's a little hard to see. But I hope to see everyone snowmans. Leave me some comments in the section below. Tell me your winter stories. Tell me about the books you love. Tell me about the characters that have stuck with you. Uh, don't forget to check out our website. It's shockinglyme.com. And hopefully we'll talk to you soon about more books that we love or hopefully books that we remember. But have a good day. Say bye, Spencer.